Family gathering of subsistence food is an important part of the traditional native diet in my family. I was taught that preparation and the hunt are the key factors to a successful harvest. Each outing is a great family and friend experience, whether you are 6 years old or 60 years old. The traditional foods not only are excellent by themselves, but blends good with the western diet as well. Moose roast with potatoes and carrots is a good example. A large part of the Yupik Alaskan foods incorporate the western diet, which includes rice, pilot bread crackers, butter, tea, and coffee. I really enjoy my morning cup of coffee and breakfast cereal before going out hunting. Another example is my mom has always incorporated rice with a traditional bowl of low bush cranberry agouda. Every season has its variety of foods that are looked forward to by elders in my family. In the spring, the migratory birds come and are a welcomed different source of meat. Elderly men are more than happy to help the younger hunters with advice, gas, and ammunition to get ducks and geese for them. Seal hunting is done by the men, since such a long travel is needed from our village, the few hunters will divide, divide their catch with many families. Summer salmon runs bring the men to prepare nets and the majority of the cutting is done with skill, precision, and speed that only comes from years of experience and knowledge passed down from generations of hard-working grandmas, mothers, and daughters. Early season moose and caribou hunts will take a lot of effort that is a labor done with pride. Salmon berries, black, blue, and huckleberries are often eaten fresh with just harvested moose or caribou and the rest is put away for the winter. All these subsistence activities throughout the year have been bringing Yupik families together for generations and I am in the process of passing this knowledge to my sons.